As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. The last couple of months have I noticed that many places in society have put out the harvest team, aka Rapture, Escape of the Bride, in the beginning of the year in January. The Lord drew a picture through me. I asked him, how will the rapture look like if I drew it on paper? I asked him and closed my eyes and made a fast drawing for like 10 seconds. When I opened my eyes again, I first believed I just had made a cloud. But after a while, I saw the Lord had answered my question. I studied the picture and saw a story. And later, it's a perfect biblical event, backed up by the word. And behold a white cloud, and upon the cloud one sat like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, Thrust in thy sickle and reap, for the time is come for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. And he that sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. If God peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by him at his will. O oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, sing unto the Lord all the earth, sing unto the Lord, bless his name, show forth his salvation from day to day, declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised, he is to be feared above all gods, surely, he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit, the redemption of our body. The tree from Garden of Eden, the knowledge about good and evil, who deceives the whole world. On the surface, it looks like life-giving and rich, but the roots of the tree is evil, and the whole thing is that the works and goals is hidden and upside down. Now learn a parable of the fig tree, when his branch is yet tender, and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. For lo, the winter is past, the rain is over and gone, the flowers appear on the earth, the time of the singing birds is come, and the voice of the turtle is heard in our land. The fig tree putteth forth her green figs, and the vines with a tender grape give a good smell. Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. He that heareth you, heareth me, and he that despiseth you, despiseth me. And he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. And as watchmen, we are informing the bride of Christ to our findings. Do not be caught unawares. Be awake. Keep watch. We must continue to march forward and proclaim his holy name and his holy word unto all the earth. Keep the faith. Keep in the race for your souls. Keep in the race for your eternal life with our Lord and Savior, Yahshua HaMashiach. Stay the course, stay on track, stay in prayer. And as we are told in 2 Timothy 4, 6 through 7, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. 
We are almost home, brothers and sisters. We are in the final days of this race. The finish line is straight ahead. Keep marching on with great faith. He has promised to escape us, his bride of Christ. The bride is not appointed to wrath, 